Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Yep. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Scotty Got Games. We back with another one, y'all. Oh, uh, we back with another Alan Wake. You feel me? I gotta finish off this game because we got more contact. We got more. We got more games behind this one. You feel me? We got more games. We got more games on the console and more. Ga uh, we got some PC games. That I gotta uh, start um, playing too. I got a whole, I got a whole bunch of library, a uh, whole bunch of games lot in the library that need to be played on my PC. So we are gonna get into it. And who we left off? Chapter four. Now we on to chapter five. Um, I think chapter four was just discovering the truth, what was going on on this, um, in this town. Um, I guess we found out that Alice is really gone that he's really gone and he was going through well his doctor said he was going through some uh, hallucinations but that wasn't the case the shadow is real and we got to figure out we got to figure out what's what's the solution of um, defeating the shadow and understanding get the uh, full understanding if Allison is really gone you feel me so we gotta we gotta learn it ourselves so I ain't gonna say too much we're gonna get right back into it um, before we start this video make sure you like the video subscribe if, you, if you're new we gotta get these followers up we got we gotta get these subs up man you want to get more content we gotta get these subs up we gotta get these subs up but before further ado let's get back into it Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lady. It does something to the works of our created. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The clicker? Hmm. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's moose fest in our neighboring town lottery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about deer fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up. But, uh, let's try to ride all the enemies on tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Tom sets up a rocket. It's his insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Or is it a light? Or how do you end up in jail? So I remember they just drove off into uh All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. Oh that's right. I think I think my tongue just did a crap in my mouth. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Ow. Ow. Oh, let this me see. Not good. Let me, let me, let me check the archives. We woke up, oh, last time we was in the, um, the twins, the twins house. So how we end up in jail? That about sums it up. <laughs> this dude barfing. Oh, I am never drinking again. Oh yeah, they had that moonshine. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, okay, Al, okay, we're stuck here. Myself. They're not gonna... Interview, wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's 
wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Hey, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Jesus. Oh, man. We're setting up to the lights us. out. Stay cool. I can Hold get on. the emergency. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Nightingale tried to make sense of the maze. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monster... Yeah, so so my theory was true. Like he wrote the manuscript before stuff even even happened. So when he stopped, when he said over my dead body, he he looked at this manuscript and he exactly what he said, and he got taken away. So Alice may may be alive. So we just gotta we gotta follow. I guess the script has already been written, so we just gotta follow it or try to change it, per se. Let me get that flask. Say, what, what, what you doing, boy? Barry, come on, man. What you doing? He just chilling. Here are your things. Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. What the? Oh, Barry. Stop doing that. Sarah, right, let's go. What you doing? Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy's on the list, mate. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I can order one now? Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Okay. I see why. Okay, okay. Now, I see it. 
I was there before when I was, figure, when I was trying to figure out why you have this ladder up here. But now I I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Deer fest is gonna be something, boy. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. It's an awfully quiet town. In uh, light, you can hurt them. You know. Get him out of here. That shit was... Out of my sight. There's one more time.
Hey, Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the dead. Where am I, you electrician? Hold on! Smarts. Good job, Lee. Okay, stick close. <laughs> Town Hall. The keys to the chopper are there. I'm in this box. Oh! different angles. Sarah? Oh! You want Sarah like that?
gonna try it, fool. Open the door. Say that. Where is this chopper? Wait, over here. There's light. There's kids too. Sarah. I ain't trying to be here no more. Okay. Let's go, Wake. Players, let me get that. What else is there? What else? What else is here? What else is here? What else? What else? Nothing? Alright. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. What is this place? The message was for Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry.
Nice. Better hope he's okay, Sarah. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Trust no one in the dark. Shut. I hope you don't get the. Hope you don't get the says Barry. Time to play with y'all. Hit the hit you with the flash, man. We can make it through the bookstore. Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Hold down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All this shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Let me check up. Let me check upstairs first. Am I missing anything? What's the purpose of <sighs> what's the purpose of going upstairs? There ain't nothing up here. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Everything I need. need everything I get. What's in here? Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. I know you ready. I ain't ready yet. Let me pick up everything I need to get. Are we good? Are we good? I'm going to give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about oh, this lock. I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Should have known. Let's take a break. So now I'm gonna assault. Put you in the fight. That's not good. Here you come, brother. Bring a free fire since you get for your heart. What the hell? There's two of them. Wait, keep an eye out. I ah. love that one. What the hell? I was waiting on you. I was waiting on you to get down. All this damn light. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Well, thank God for tradition. Uh, let me. Let me start. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and heard it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Okay. So as he set herself free, she couldn't get, she couldn't get no more pages. Cynthia Weaver worked hard. Following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always getting into them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Oh, snap. So Cynthia's, is that the lady in the light? That's her? That was doing all the painting on the wall? So, damn, she was all over the place. What was she doing? She's like a, she's a guy too. For it to be free, the dark presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly. Put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in his path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Okay. So this, the story now is unknown because you, you've been broken free from her um, possessive, possessive, possessiveness. We're almost there. Now we'll she can't the um, write the story to the anymore because you're free. Yeah. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Alright, man. Anything else? Hey, yo. It's too dark down here. Of 
I want y'all to come here. Sanctuary lit up upstairs, but down here, it's dark as hell. Okay, Barry, I see you, boy. Yeah, I, I see you, boy. Tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come okay, on. Okay, I see it. I see Barry up here. Got here protected. I got no hunting rep. I don't got a hunting rifle. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. You stupid. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Let's see, what the hell is that sound? Someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license. It's a little bit easier when you got people with you. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Take Come on. I want to get out That's of here. That's where you gotta. So you know you gotta do it. A fucking uh, survive assault. For the assault, the survival. Cause you know it's about to go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all that.
about time, let's go. I'm nice and shit. They put it like that. Just get me over for sure. Take a big chance on a local crazy lady now. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Thank you.